let's just say she's very on the nose in terms of the caricature uh so much yeah. so that uh it's hard to it, it's hard not to wonder about it at times um it seems right. it seems like almost like a performance uh right doesn't it but it wasn't there's no reason to believe that it was a performance it was a sincere exposition of self and it happens that that self appears to be entirely formed by um lectures ted talks textbooks and conver very insular conversations with people just like herself, because her English, if I'm to an analyze it as a literary critic, shows no sign of personality. Um, it is a true melange or collage of buzzwords, received attitudes, um, and nostrums and maxims from a kind of academic leftism that uh, you expect to see on campus, but don't expect to see people seriously uh, espousing as their own thinking. Um, but her own thinking is an interesting uh, uh, construct for me because, as I say, it does not appear to come from a human uh, individual, but uh, from a kind of party pamphlet uh, filtered through a filtered through a person who's having all the same problems personally that we're having socially. In other words, whiteness, for example, seems to be something that she's thinking about every day in, in almost every interaction. Uh, patriarchy seems to weigh heavily on her, even while having coffee. Um, she doesn't have the same problems that you and I have. Uh, and... I think she represents what happens and what will happen once we no longer have free speech, once everything is a sort of canned recitation of uh, reverential, pre-approved political statements. Um, and uh, there, I, I was telling you before the, sh the show, there's, there's a kind of a conspiracy theory, a, a mock conspiracy theory, that she's not indeed a, a biological being, but an AI construct. And the reason that that's so funny is that it again appears that Gemini, Gemini AI uh, might be responsible for all her pronouncements. Right, yeah. Um, did you ever read uh, Walter uh, Flaubert wrote a dictionary of received ideas? Or a dictionary of received wisdom. I forget how it's translated. Right. Yeah, he did. I mean, she is the 2024 version of received ideas masquerading as the thoughts of an individual. Um, but she's kind of a post individual, even in her TED Talks and some of the uh, clips that have been circulated. She doesn't believe in truth and yet believe she has it, believe she has it. Um, she, remember, worked at Wikipedia, which is a, uh, or, or, or she was responsible for the company that Wikipedia. She was C CEO of Wikimedia, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and she holds out the Wikipedia model as a new information uh, hygiene uh, protocol where everybody kind of adds to the pile and uh, especially what they call high integrity sources get preference. And you come up with this kind of communal um, info product that is not the work of any one person and represents the kind of best of received wisdom on any topic. And, and, and that, she has raised to a philosophical standard. Um, and uh, like I say, it's easy to fall into the kind of gender-based uh, satire as far as her person and her persona. But I think more important than that is that she is a kind of walking Wikipedia herself. Um, everything seems to have been installed by some super user. Uh, you know, and, and she's downranked her 
you know, her, her, her most personal or eccentric thoughts. She doesn't seem to have any eccentric thoughts and upranked everything that, uh, you know, would be agreed to readily in a conversation on, you know, the Harvard campus. 